Hi, I'm Phoebe Welburn. I'm here at the Welburn Gourd Farm in Fallbrook, California. And I'm just gonna to talk to you a little bit about our gourds and the coloration of the shell and what forms that. So um, a lot of people have never been to our farm and when they come, the first thing they see are these sort of golden colored gourds. And then you can see in the background gourds that look like this. And they always ask, you know, what's the difference? So for if you're new, the difference is this gourd has been washed and this is a gourd that has basically just come out of the field and nothing's been done to it. So they're very easy to wash and I, I can tell you a little bit th about that in a second. But what I wanted to explain was a lot of gourds will have some of these markings and colorations on them and people always wonder about those and how those are formed. So right now it's May at the gourd farm and this is the time when we've recently brought in our new crop of gourds and we harvest once a year. So on this gourd, this is a gourd that just came in from this crop. It's a beautiful tall body gourd, one of our most popular shapes. And you can see the skin is kind of peeling off of it. And there's this really dark line right here, right on the border of the skin. So that's, that's one of the ways that the markings are formed is just as the skin is drying and sort of peeling off in different areas, you'll get these really beautiful markings. So I'm gonna actually plop this in a bucket of water and I'm gonna wash it so you can see the marking after it's been washed. This is just plain old water. There's nothing in it. You don't need to use bleach or anything like that. Just plain water, it works fine. And then you're gonna use a pot scrubber and it just comes right off. So another difference that people see in our gourds is the actual color of the shell. And they wonder, well, what makes it lighter? What makes it darker? A lot of it's just seed genetics, or basically it is seed genetics. Uh, this is sort of a, like a hybrid from a canteen gourd. Our canteen gourds are known for being extra thick. So when they're thicker, a lot of times they'll be a little bit darker in color. This little tiny guy, um, it's just thinner because one, it's a small gourd, but you can see how much lighter the shell is. So those are just, um, there's nothing we can actually do to make one lighter and one darker, they just come that way. And some people who are wanting car, um, to do carving on their gourd and do some, like maybe just some really deep carving and they want a thick shell gourd, a lot of times we'll tell them if they're out here looking, like try to go for the darker color gourd because um, more often than not, you're gonna end up with a nice thick shell. So those are a little bit of the differences. And then just when you come to the farm, you will see most of our gourds are going to be, um, they're not gonna be washed. So I don't want you to be intimidated by, by that because they are very easy to wash and you're actually gonna get the best selection if you browse those racks. Um, these racks have not, as of now, there's not anything from the new crop in these racks, but we have absolutely gorgeous gourds um, in all of our other racks that are not washed. So back to our cleaning. All you need is a pot scrubber and you just want to soak the gourd for about 10 minutes. Because gourds float, you can sort of weigh them down or put a wet cloth on them if you want, but it just comes right off. And you can tell this gourd's, I mean, it's obviously it's wet, so it's showing up darker, but it's going to be a pretty dark color once I get it washed compared to one of these tiny ones. So more than likely, and, and another way of sound, more than likely it's going to be a nice thick gourd. So those are just some tips on how to select your gourds and how the shell color and colorations are formed. So I'm gonna wash this up and then we'll show you the finished product. This is a really great time to buy gourds because we're having some light rain. So whenever we have some rain, it basically is like soaking your gourds in this really gentle, um, and for some reason rainwater too helps, but like, like nice gentle soak in rainwater and they just clean up super fast. Even some of this white skin, which can be a little bit trickier to, to get off, like I'm just not even putting any pressure on it. It's coming right off. So definitely a great time to come to the farm when it's spring and you're getting that rain and the gourds are just already pre-soaked for you. It's almost done. Okay, there it's all done. It's all washed off. You can see that really beautiful line where the skin was breaking apart as it was drying. And you've got some gorgeous natural markings on here. This is a really, really nice tall body gourd. And we have um, a lot of these this year, quite a few really, really pretty tall body gourds. 
and that's unusual. <laughs> we try every year to get a lot of these because everybody wants a tall body gourd and they're just hard to grow. But this year, um, Danny, our operations manager, and Danielle Sr., his father, who grows our gourds, does a lot to grow our gourds, Danny as well, plus our field crew, they work so hard and we got these beautiful gourds. So please come out and be sure to look in the unwashed gourd section. Our staff can help you with that when you get here and get some of these really, really pretty tall body gourds.